First at 11, the threat of a mass shooting at a local school. Students and staff in lockdown while police investigated tonight. We know it was a hoax sent to virtually every phone on campus. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. It happened this afternoon at G-Star High School of the Arts. Ari Height joining us from Palm Springs tonight with more on the disturbing message. Investigators here with the Palm Springs Police Department tell me they don't believe there was ever a weapon on campus. Nobody was ever in any danger, but as you might imagine, nobody knew that at first. And because of the way this threat was sent, nearly every single student and staff member had access to the threat on their phone. The threat, a photo of a gun with the words, I've had it up to here with you. Y'all better count your days. A building, 150. This is the photo investigators say a student at the G-Star School of the Arts airdropped to the entire school Wednesday around noon. The school was immediately placed on a code yellow. Students locked down in their classrooms. Police were called. We started a search of the school, make sure that there was no weapons on campus. And they didn't find any weapons, though they did find the person they believe sent that threat. A 15-year-old boy, a sophomore at the school, who told police he never intended to follow through. It was more of a, a, a joke type of nature. It wasn't an actual, they, they weren't doing it as a threat itself, but more as a joke. That's what the preliminary information is. A joke, but not a funny one. The teen is now in custody, charged with a felony, making terroristic threats. Whether it's taken as a joke or is made as a joke or not, uh, we're going to deploy all resources necessary to ensure that uh, there is no threat. And if there is a threat, we stop it in time. And police say this is a great example of somebody seeing something and saying something. They say the public's eyes and ears were always their best tools in these sorts of situations. In Palm Springs, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.